whether it's in Vail, Oregon, or Winnemucca, Elko, or Ely in Nevada, you're bound to come across one of the murals made by this cowboy artist, Larry Butte. I was particularly intrigued by this artist when I came across his work on Will James. Obviously, the man knew a lot about Will James, and I was curious to find out a little bit more. Oh, he's been with me for a long time. I, I uh, got acquainted with him when I was seven years old, uh, about 1947. And, uh, yeah, I've kind of followed his trail ever since. Uh, after I graduated from high school, I actually moved to Montana because of Will James, um, searching for, you know, the places that he'd drawn and everything. And I was fortunate to, uh, oh, meet uh, the Snook, Snook family at that time. And around a lot of his originals, you know, I saw, I saw all those originals when they were, but yeah, he's, he's probably my mentor, you know. And everywhere you went, you could feel the, the Will James in. In those days, in the cowboy art, or um, yeah, I think probably he was a, probably one of the main reasons I did. And I saw that he could make a living at it, you know. Making a living from your artistic work is not an easy task, and I was wondering if Larry was aware of the letter that Charles Russell wrote uh, at an early stage to Will James, recommending that he draws for the regular man rather than the artistic type. The strange part is, right now, I don't even I don't even own a Will James book. I, I had a complete collection of first editions, and they were such an influence on me. I thought, you know, I'm going to get out on my own, get my own style of art, because it was too much, uh, too much influence from me. Yeah. So I actually sold those to a collector. But uh, yeah, he was a hero, that's for sure. And I think he was more of a cowboy than people realize, and much more. I think his art is much better than people realize, especially his, his middle years, like in the 20s. I think he did some magical. Uh, some of his pen and ink were. I don't think anybody can touch it. It was wonderful. But you know, a lot of times when you're out, you know, and you're kind of alone and and you don't know why you're there. You said, then I think of Will James. I think, well, he wanted to be out there too. You know, and it's uh, you got to want to you got to want to be a cowboy. And you got to keep that spirit. You know, and, uh, he kept it. Anyway, I I feel like um, there were things he did that you couldn't capture. And at least put all the elements together you know, with a camera or a, yeah. or a uh, movie. Or, I mean, he, he really caught a lot of things, uh, you know, that only could be done through the imagination. Or the, well, I think he's a, he's a, certainly a, he's given us good both good and and misleading things that an artist. You know, it's it's a tough game. It's cowboy and, and art are both tough. They're both tough, and I think. For me, what Will James is, is kind of set an example of what some, some things not to do, you know, and some things that are certainly admirable, most of them are admirable. And I, and I really resent some of the, uh, the ne negative aspects that people have really focused on in later years because we all have flaws, you know, but he really was a great artist. You know, and I, I think it's much more to him than anybody even realizes. Larry Butte was and still is quite a cowboy himself, but the soft-spoken artist doesn't like to talk about it. He prefers to talk about Will James. That's the only reason why he agreed to meet me. How many art, how many cowboys, so-called cowboy artists nowadays, would go out and ride a bucking horse, go back to their studio and draw? I mean, he was quite a guy. Quite a guy. And I think Larry expresses here what James means to a lot of people.